Hello, just a short video from me. Um, there's been a lot of talk about power outages, um, yeah, power cuts in the winter coming up. And people are saying, what a disaster if you've got a, uh, you've got an electric car. Well, I just want to show something which uh, may dispel that. Um, now, here's my BMW i3, and I've connected jump leads, red to the plus, and the black one to the earth. Connected them to, up to my inverter. We shouldn't get anywhere on eBay, on the internet, wherever. And I've connected it to an extension lead. Right. Now, if I go inside the car, I'll turn the car on. Right, now I'll start up the car. And turn off the auxiliary bits and pieces. So they don't waste any power. Lights as well, one down there. Whereabouts, there we go. Turn that off. And jump out the car. Because you need to have the car running because it run, this was for running down your battery, your 12 volt battery quite quickly. So you need the car running to make this work. So here we go. I need to fasten the seat belt with me not in it. Now the car is happy. It's ready to go. It's running. Obviously you can't hear anything because it's electric. Okay. So I'll turn my inverter on. And now I'll see if this works. Not bad, eh? That's um, a 1250 watt vacuum cleaner running off the car system. Pretty impressive if you had a power cut. Obviously it'd power up your TV, your lights, microwave. So um, when people say, oh, you've got an electric car when you have a power cut, what a disaster it will be. Actually, what a benefit it will be because my car is here running. As I say, you need to have the seatbelt connected as BMW i3 to have the car, to keep the car running. As soon as I disconnect, I'll show you. As soon as I disconnect the seatbelt, yeah, I'll put it on there. As soon as I disconnect the seatbelt, the car's gone off. Okay. That's enough for me, I think. It gives you the rough idea. Any questions, just give me a shout. See you soon.